Have you ever wondered why kids do the things they do? Like, why do they interrupt us a million times or refuse to clean their room even after we've asked nicely? Well, get ready for a journey into their minds that's going to change the game. Hey there, loving parents. Today, we're diving deep into understanding your child's behavior and, even cooler, helping them understand it too. It's time to become a feelings detective, figuring out the hidden reasons behind actions. And guess what? It's not just about the what, but the why too. Before we dive in, a little favor, if you find our adventures helpful, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. It helps us share the love and keep bringing you all the juicy secrets of parenting done right. So let's chat about something super cool called goal disclosure. It's basically like being a detective, but instead of solving mysteries, you're figuring out why kids do the things they do. It's a secret weapon for understanding your child better and helping them understand themselves too. Ready to dive in? Let's make this fun and easy to get. Imagine this, sometimes kids act out and it's not just to drive us crazy. They're actually trying to tell us something important, but they might not even realize it themselves. It's like they're speaking a secret language and it's our job to crack the code. Here are the four main reasons why kids might be acting up, each one like a puzzle piece to their heart. One, craving the spotlight or undue attention. Think about it like this. Sometimes kids feel like they only shine bright when we're watching them closely. If they're interrupting you all the time, maybe they're just trying to grab the spotlight for a bit. Two, boss mode or misguided power. Picture a mini superhero, but their power is wanting to call all the shots. When they refuse to do something, it's their way of showing they want to be in charge for a while. Three, payback time or revenge. This one's a bit like a superhero too, but in their mind, they're righting a wrong. If they feel hurt, they might do something naughty, thinking it's their way of fixing the balance. Four, feeling like a square peg or assumed inadequacy. Sometimes kids feel like they just don't fit in, like a square peg in a round hole. When homework or tasks feel too tough, they might just give up thinking they can't do it. So how do we use our detective skills to help? Let's go through some scenarios. When they want all eyes on them, let's say Lucy keeps popping up when you're super busy. Here's a game plan. Chill time. Find a time when you're both cool as cucumbers, not in the middle of a tug of war. Chat and guess. Ask her, hey Lucy, why do you think you keep interrupting me? If she just shrugs, take a guess. Do you feel like you're missing out on my attention? Detective work. If Lucy grins or nods, bingo, you figured it out. Creative solutions. Come up with fun ways for Lucy to feel special, like doing a task together or planning fun hangouts. When they're trying to be the boss, Imagine Tom's room is a disaster zone and he's not budging on cleaning it. Step aside, don't turn it into a showdown. Wait for a peaceful moment to talk. Open conversation. Say, Tom, I get that, I can't make you clean your room. How can we sort this out together? Finding common ground. If Tom seems willing to chat, you're on the right track. Teamwork, figure out a plan together. Maybe Tom can pick the best time to clean, giving him a bit of control, but still getting the job done. When they're in payback mode, Think about Emma doodling on the walls after a telling off. Cool down, wait till the storm passes for both of you. Empathy time. Emma, did my scolding upset you? Is that why you drew on the wall? Aha moment. If Emma smiles or nods, you've cracked the code. Healing together. Talk about how you both felt and explore better ways to express those feelings. When they feel out of place, picture Jack staring down his math homework like it's a dragon. Quiet time, find a calm moment far from homework drama. Kind questions. Jack, does math feel like climbing a mountain right now? Like it's just too steep to even try? Signs of relief. If Jack seems relieved you asked, you've hit the nail on the head. Confidence building. Break down the scary dragon into smaller, less scary steps, celebrating little wins along the way. Using goal disclosure is like unlocking a secret door into your child's world. By being curious, listening, and tackling problems together, we can turn tricky moments into chances for growth and bonding. It's all about connecting, understanding, and finding joy in the journey together. How cool is that? By the way, if you are looking for a nursery that knows what they're doing, check out our website at purplebeesdaynursery.com. All right, let's dive into a story that's all about understanding why kids sometimes do things that make us go crazy. It's like a magic trick to see what's really happening behind the curtain of misbehavior. We're zooming into the world of Mrs. Taylor, her son Alex, and a day that turned into a lesson for the books. Here's the setup. So imagine this, the Taylor crew was on a mission to find a new house. Alex and his brother Jamie were totally over it after a day of boring home tours. So 
When another day of house hunting was on the horizon, Mrs. Taylor thought she was doing the boys a favor by letting them skip it. They'd stay with a neighbor while she, Mr. Taylor, and the youngest, Ellie, went on the adventure. Despite Alex wanting to tag along this time, Mrs. Taylor left him with a treat, thinking she was sparing him another snooze fest. Here comes the twist. Fast forward to the Taylors coming home and boom! Mrs. Taylor finds Ellie's high chair ruined with Alex as the artist behind the knife masterpiece. Her first reaction, total meltdown mode with Alex in the hot seat. But then a light bulb moment happened. Mrs. Taylor realized this wasn't just about a high chair. It was Alex screaming, hey, I'm here too, don't forget about me. This is the part when a heart to heart is needed. So Mrs. Taylor decides it's time for a real talk with Alex. She tells him a story from when she was a kid feeling just like him, invisible. This chat hit home for Alex, making him feel seen and understood for the first time in a while. They opened up about how Alex felt like he was always second to Ellie, and together they started fixing not only the high chair, but also their strained relationship. The lesson learned, this tale with Mrs. Taylor and Alex is a powerful reminder that there's often more to misbehavior than meets the eye. It's not just about the what, but the why. By choosing to connect and listen, Mrs. Taylor transformed a moment of frustration into a stepping stone for growth, proving that empathy and teamwork can turn tough times into trust and understanding. So next time you see someone acting out, remember the Taylor's adventure. It's a clue that maybe, just maybe, they're trying to tell us something more. And who knows? By listening and opening our hearts, we might just uncover a story waiting to be heard and healed together. Now, isn't that a magical transformation? For more information on parenting, check out our channel and also visit us at purplebeeschildcare.com. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more parenting wins and make sure you enjoy every moment with your children.